So in this problem, we need to calculate the work. Work is equal to the force times the distance, as long as these are acting in the same direction. So in this case, with our raindrop, we've got the weight force acting downwards. We've got the air resistance force acting upwards. Now, because this raindrop is falling down with a constant velocity, we know that these two must have the same magnitude. So the air resistance force is equal to the weight force. And the R, the raindrop is traveling downwards. And so that is the direction of this R vector. So in part A, we need to calculate the amount of work done by the gravitational force. So in this case, the gravitational force and the displacement are in exactly the same direction, so we're going to get a positive answer. So in other words, the gravitational force is doing work on the raindrop, which means it's causing the raindrop to gain energy. So this is equal to F, which is the weight force, mg, times r, which in this case is the distance fallen. Now in the question, we're told that the mass of the raindrop is equal to 3.4 plus or minus 0 0.1 times 10 to the 5 kilograms, to the minus 5 kilograms, sorry. And we know that the distance at fours is equal to 100 plus or minus 1 meters. So we're actually going to need to take into account our uncertainties as well. Okay, so we just need to substitute these numbers into this formula. So we've got 3.4 times 10 to the minus 5 times g, which is 9.8, times d, which is the 100 metres. And solving that on the calculator, we get 0 0.03332 joules. Now, let's consider the uncertainties before we give this to the right number of significant figures. So from the lab, you know that the uncertainty in the work over the work, because it just comes from multiplying these quantities, which are completely independent, this measurement and this measurement will be made completely independently of each other, and there is no uncertainty in G. We know that that's exactly 9.8, so this is equal to the square root of the uncertainty in the mass over the mass squared, plus the uncertainty in the distance over the distance squared, we add them in quadrature, so this is equal to 0 0.1 over 3.4 squared plus 1 over 100 squared, and this is equal to 0 0.031. And so in order to get the absolute uncertainty in the work, we just need to multiply this work by this number here, and this gives us that the work is equal to 0 0.3, 0 0.0, 3, 3 plus or minus 0 0.001 joules. And it's a positive answer because the gravitational force is doing work on the raindrop. Now, for part B, we're asked to calculate the work done by the air resistance force. Now, in this case, the air resistance and the displacement have opposite directions, and so we're going to get a negative answer. So this is going to be exactly the same, but with a negative answer. So we'll have work is equal to minus 0 0.033 plus or minus 0 0.001 joules.